Military strength is no longer just about having the biggest army or the toughest weapons. It is about technology, staying ahead with smarter, more advanced tools. In the year 2025, the United States introduced the Silent 45 Condor, a fighter jet so advanced that it is reshaping the way countries approach air combat. What makes this stealth aircraft a serious game changer in modern warfare? And why are global powers scrambling to understand its full capabilities? Join us as we dive into the secret technology behind the F-45 Condor, the fighter jet that caught the world off guard. The Silent 45 Condor is not just another fighter jet, it is a game changer in aerial combat. It is an aircraft that moves like a shadow, reacts faster than a human pilot, and carries enough firepower to change the course of a battle. Built with cutting edge stealth and artificial intelligence, this fighter jet can soar at more than twice the speed of sound. Mach 2.9. It is not just about speed or firepower though. What keeps military strategists up at night is its plasma stealth system. This tech bends radar waves, making the Condor nearly invisible, even to the most advanced detection systems. That means it can slip into enemy airspace, strike its target, and disappear, without ever being seen. To understand why this matters, it is essential to go back to the year 2018. That was when the United States military hit a wall. Its top fighters, the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II, were once seen as unbeatable. But times changed. Other countries began to catch up, and America needed something new, something that would restore its competitive edge. That need gave birth to the most secretive jet program in American history. The project was called Kill Switch, a name that sounds straight out of a spy movie. But this was not just about building a better jet. The futuristic stealth fighter program had a much larger goal, to redefine aerial warfare altogether. With the F-55 Condor, the Pentagon was not just designing a new aircraft, it was changing the game when it came to air dominance. Aerial warfare is all about innovation, and only the best ideas make it through. Seven of the top aerospace companies in the United States went head-to-head -head in a high-stakes battle to design the next-generation stealth fighter. When the competition wrapped up, only two teams were left. Lockheed Martin partnered with Boeing and Northrop Grumman, while General Dynamics joined forces with McDonnell Douglas. But this was not just about bragging rights. There was a multi-billion dollar contract on the line to build the F-45 Condor, a jet that could change the future of air combat. The first clues about this project showed up in satellite images. Analysts spotted a strange aircraft with sharp diamond-shaped wings, almost invisible against the desert backdrop. Was it just a test drone or something much bigger? The answer came in the year 2023, when the prototype of the F-45 finally took flight. But why did the United States need such a major leap in technology? Because the global battlefield was shifting. Countries in South America were upgrading their defense systems, and new fighter jets like the F-38 and F-40 were emerging worldwide. America did not just need a better plane, it required an entirely new class of aircraft. The F-45 Condor is that leap forward. This is a combination of three powerful elements, the stealth of a jet, the intelligence of an artificial system, and the speed of a supersonic fighter, all packed into one machine. That is the goal of the future stealth fighter program. And that raises a chilling question. If this is what the public is allowed to see, what features are still classified? More importantly, how will rival nations react when they realize the rules of air combat have changed? The Condor's strengths go beyond speed and stealth. Its patrol speed and high altitude allow it to see farther, strike faster, and survive attacks that would take down older jets. It can identify and eliminate threats, such as surface-to-air missiles, long before they become a problem. And since it flies at supersonic speeds without depending on fuel-hungry afterburners, it can chase down enemy aircraft that would otherwise get away. One of the key reasons the F-45 Condor performs so well comes down to its design. Unlike older jets that carry weapons under their wings, creating drag and slowing them down, the Condor stores its weapons internally in what is called the internal weapons bay. This simple change lets it fly faster, stay in the air longer, and operate more efficiently. With advanced aerodynamics and powerful engines, the Condor cruises at more than twice the speed of sound. Mach 2, 
while reaching altitudes as high as 75,000 feet or about 22,860 meters. That height and speed give its missiles a significant advantage, nearly doubling their range compared to older aircraft. To achieve such extreme performance, the F-45 had to be built differently. Its structure combines rugged yet lightweight materials designed to handle the intense pressure of supersonic flight. About 42% of the aircraft are made from titanium alloys, while another 24% is built with high heat composites like bismol imide and epoxy resins. These are not just high-tech materials. They are the reason the Condor stays intact during long, high-speed missions. Every part of this jet is designed for endurance and power, from the tip of its nose to the edges of its razor-sharp wings. When it comes to maneuverability, the F-45 does not just match the competition, it changes the game. Its thrust vectoring engines allow it to shift direction mid-flight like no other jet. It can maintain control at incredibly steep angles, over 75 degrees, while staying stable. Think of a plane that can turn almost in place while moving faster than the speed of sound. That is precisely what the Condor is built to do. With a fully digital flight control system and full authority digital engine control, the pilot gets instant responsiveness and built-in stall prevention, even in the most intense combat situations. Things get even more interesting here. While the world was focused on the launch of the F-35 Lightning II, something even bigger was happening behind the scenes. In the year 2018, the F-45 Condor was undergoing top secret testing. And once news started leaking out, both Russia and China reportedly pushed their fighter programs into overdrive. Suddenly, the United States' top fighters, the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II, no longer seem unbeatable. The first real clue appeared in the year 2021. A satellite image captured a mysterious aircraft at a hidden test site. Its diamond-shaped wings and shadowy frames sparked a wave of speculation. Was it just a decoy or had the F-45 Condor finally surfaced? Experts were uncertain. Then came more leaks. Speed estimates suggested the aircraft could reach Mach 2.5 without relying on afterburners. That kind of performance changes everything. One of the most talked about challengers to American air superiority is Russia's Su-57 Felon. Marketed as Russia's response to the F-22 and F-35, the Su-57 came with bold claims, advanced maneuverability, next-generation avionics, and stealth technology designed to keep NATO on edge. On paper, it seems impressive. The Felon can pull off high-level aerial maneuvers like the Cobra Maneuver, reach speeds of Mach 2, and carry out combat missions up to 930 kilometers away. However, the closer aviator enthusiasts look, the more weaknesses begin to appear. The stealth capabilities of the Su-57 are not as flawless as claimed. The thrust vectoring nozzles that give it impressive agility also reflect radar signals, weakening its stealth profile. While the jet remains difficult to detect when its weapons bays are closed, opening them during combat makes it immediately visible to enemy radar. Even the production numbers raise concerns. Russia initially planned to manufacture 52 units by 2024, but so far only 10 are operational. That is a surprisingly low number for a fighter that is supposed to be redefining air combat in Russia. While this is happening, the F-45 is testing plasma stealth technology. Plasma stealth operates by utilizing a superheated, electrically charged gas to disrupt radar detection. It is the same glowing substance in neon signs, lightning, or even the outer layer of the sun. But this is not just hot gas. It is a state of matter where electrons are stripped from atoms, creating a cloud of ionized particles. When plasma surrounds a fighter jet, it absorbs, bends, and scatters radar waves, making it much harder to track. Unlike traditional stealth, which relies on specialized shapes and radar-absorbing coatings, plasma stealth actively manipulates electromagnetic energy in real time. Think of it like this. If someone shines a flashlight at a mirror, the person gets a bright reflection. But if the person fogged up the mirror, the light scatters instead of bouncing straight back. Plasma stealth works similarly, scrambling radar signals before they can return to their source. Several countries are rumored to be developing plasma stealth technology, but none have officially confirmed using it in military aircraft. Russia has filed patents and published research on plasma-based radar suppression, 
particularly for jets like the MiG-29 and Su-27. Now talking about technology, the radar system on the Su-57, known as the N036 Bielka, can reportedly track up to 40 targets at once. That sounds impressive, but now picture it going up against the artificial intelligence-driven combat system of the F-45 Condor. This is not just an upgrade, it is a leap into a completely different playing field. This is like trying to fight a quantum computer with a pocket calculator. While Russia is still working on refining basic stealth capabilities, the F-45 is already testing next-generation technology. What makes plasma stealth so unsettling is that it does not just hide a jet from radar, it also absorbs heat, making it invisible to infrared and optical sensors. That means even the most advanced heat-seeking or visual tracking systems will struggle to locate the F-45. And this might explain why Moscow has gone noticeably quiet since early reports of the Condor began to surface. While the Su-57 Felon might look impressive at an air show, the F-45 represents something entirely different, a level of technology so advanced that it is shifting air combat strategy before a single shot is even fired. Shortly after news about the F-45 Condor's capabilities broke, Russian military forums went quiet. Bold predictions turned into speculation. While Russia pulled back into silence, China responded in a completely different way. Their reaction to the F-45 has Pentagon analysts far more concerned, and for good reason. Unlike Russia, China is not just trying to keep up. They are actively working to shift the balance of air power in the Pacific. Now looking at China's J-20 Mighty Dragon, a stealth fighter designed not just for defense, but for deep strike missions targeting America's positions in the Pacific. With a combat radius of over 1,100 miles and the ability to sustain supersonic speeds, the J-20 is built to push back against the United States air dominance far beyond China's borders. This is more than just another stealth jet. It is a direct attempt to penetrate the protective ring of American support aircraft, including tankers and airborne warning and control systems. Equipped with a long-range PL-15 missile and a radar system capable of tracking up to 50 targets at once, the J-20 is a serious threat. But even with these advanced features, it still faces one major obstacle, the F-45 Condor. The artificial intelligence-driven combat system and plasma stealth technology of the F-45 put it in a completely different category. While the J-20 relies on radar and pilot expertise, the F-45 analyses battle data in real time, predicting threats before an enemy even gets a lock. It is like comparing a high-end smartphone to a quantum computer. Both are advanced, but only one can rewrite the rules of computing, and now Chinese engineers are pushing the limits even further. Satellite images reveal J-20 prototypes coated in metamaterials, high-tech compounds that could make radar detection even more challenging. Now here is the catch. China has already built more than 200 J-20 jets, while only 35 F-45 units are planned. But this is not just a numbers game. A single F-45, equipped with next-generation weapons and guided by artificial intelligence, could eliminate multiple J-20 fighters before they even know they are being targeted. The real question right now is not whether China's J-20 can compete with the F-45 Condor, it is whether the next generation of fighters can even close the gap. Inside the Pentagon, analysts are paying close attention. The global race for air superiority is not slowing down. It is moving faster than anyone expected. Think about this. Russia's Su-57, built for extreme maneuverability, and China's J-20, designed for long-range deep strikes. Now add advanced radar systems and air defense networks capable of spotting stealth aircraft. Suddenly, even top-tier jets like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II are starting to look exposed. The F-45 is not just another fighter jet with better stealth and faster engines. It represents something fundamentally different. Where older aircraft depend on hiding from radar and pilot reflexes, the F-45 uses high-energy particles that can fool even quantum detection systems. Its onboard AI processes battlefield information thousands of times faster than any human pilot could. And instead of traditional missiles, it fires directed energy weapons that hit targets at light speed. This is not an incremental upgrade. It is an entirely new type of war machine. 
When you look at Russia's Su-57 or China's J-20, both impressive aircraft in their own right, they suddenly seem like they're from a different era entirely. The gap is not just technological, it's conceptual. So why build only 35 of these jets? When a machine reaches this level of advancement, quality matters more than quantity. The F-45 Condor appears larger than its actual dimensions, about seven meters long with a 44-foot wingspan, but weighs over 46 tons while reaching Mach 2.9. That translates to nearly 2,225 miles per hour without structural stress. Every component serves a single purpose, to survive and engage targets in extreme conditions. What makes the F-45 Condor truly significant extends beyond national defense. It represents the evolution of aerial combat itself. The F-45 Condor's performance comes from its radical design approach. Those diamond-shaped wings aren't just for show, they solve a real tactical problem. The aircraft can change its shape while flying, switching from stealth mode to attack configuration in seconds. When stealth matters most, the tail wings fold inward, shrinking the radar signature to almost nothing. But when combat begins, those same wings extend outward, trading some invisibility for better maneuverability and speed. This shape-shifting capability gives the F-45 something no other fighter currently possesses. The design resolves an age-old dilemma in fighter aircraft, the trade-off between invisibility and agility. The aircraft's body is made of titanium alloys and advanced composite materials, creating an unusual combination that is both strong enough to withstand crushing G-forces and extreme heat, yet light enough to remain nimble. This means the F-45 can pull maneuvers that would rip apart older fighters. The frame strikes a balance between durability and weight, it is built to handle anything from close-range dogfights to long-distance strikes to high-speed escapes. The engineering approach focuses on one thing, surviving situations where a split second determines everything. This is not just about making the aircraft stronger, it is also about making it safer. It is about creating something that can adapt to whatever gets thrown at it, whether that's enemy fire, extreme weather, or the physical stress of combat flying. But speed and maneuverability are only half the story. The F-45 is built to hunt. Its radar system scans multiple frequencies simultaneously, tracking fast targets across vast distances. When something tries to escape by changing altitude or direction, the Condor locks on immediately. No delays, no second chances. The weapon setup is straightforward but deadly. Three internal bays handle different jobs. One large bay underneath for heavy missiles, and two smaller bays behind the engines. The design stays flexible. Most of the time, it carries AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missiles and AIM-132 Advanced Short-Range Air-to-Air Missiles. But it can also load anti-ship weapons like the AG-M158JASSM or the AG-M158CLRASM for ground targets. Defensive systems stay hidden inside compartments. Flares and decoys deploy automatically when threats appear. Everything works together. The aircraft finds targets, eliminates them, and protects itself without missing a beat. The real centerpiece is the GAU 45E 25mm rotary cannon. This is not just a gun mounted on a fighter. It's wired directly into the aircraft's AI and targeting systems. Think of it as having a virtual weapons officer that calculates firing angles, target speed, and movement patterns instantly. The AI can pull the trigger before the pilot even realizes there's a shot to take. The heads-up display shows everything in real time, even allowing manual detonation of missiles after they have been fired. In air-to-air -air mode, the F-45 carries six AIM-260 missiles, currently America's most advanced long-range weapon. But the truly unsettling part for enemies is knowing that every shot, every maneuver, Every target lock happens at the speed of computer processing. Human reflexes can't compete with that kind of precision. The aircraft doesn't just carry weapons, it thinks with them. Thanks for watching. While you are still here, click on the link on your screen to check out another of our videos. See you there.